Hey folks, Keith McGowan here. I am the Outboard Dad here to help you have a better boating experience. Today we're going to work on Ed's motor and figure out what's going on. It's not peeing. Have you ever had a time where you hook up, ran fine last year, before you take it out for the first time, you hook up the hose, you hook everything up, it's not peeing. He said he shoved a little wire up inside the pee hole just in case because sometimes you do get nests built up in there. Still wouldn't pee. Thinks it's about two year old water pump and thermostats. We're going to check it out and see what's wrong with it for Ed. So don't forget my used outboard motor buying guides for sale on Amazon for $20. If you send me proof of purchase to Keith at OutboardDad.com, I'll certainly give you a half an hour over the phone. It's a $250 value to help you with a boat or a motor you're looking to purchase or maybe a motor that you're working on to see what's going on and what the problem is with it. So what are we going to do here? First we're going to do is hook up my ears and the hose and we're going to fire it up and see what it does. It's not going to run it too long because it's not get, it may not be getting proper water flow, so we don't want to overheat it. But we're going to do a test run first. We'll take the cover off. We'll kind of listen and see what's going on and figure out what's happening. I think first we'll pull the cover off. Just do a quick inspection, see if there's something obvious. So here's our tubing that goes out. It has to go through this rail, cooling this off. We may pop this cover off just to see the hose routing over here. We can also pull it off on this side. We'll take a quick look at this. So if we look down inside here, here's where our pisser pees out. And we got this tube comes up through this rail, right? We're just going to follow this over, following it around. And we see that it comes over to here. So we're going to check that out. Maybe we'll pop it off of here while we're running. Maybe I'll have the host sticking out so we don't get any electronics wet in here. And we'll see what's going on. I think Ed put in new zincs. Here's our thermostat cover here. So we can always pop that off, make sure we're getting flow through that as well. But let's start with the basics and pull it off here. And I'll stick a tube on this. If I don't have one kicking around, maybe I'll pull it off the other side and just hang it outside and see what it does. As I started looking at this, I decided, hmm, Let's see what this is doing. So I blew through back into the engine block, blew out clear. So I'm going to blow through here, see if this is clear. And it's clear. It's not, it's going right through. So we're going to have to go a little deeper. Let's turn the hose on and fire it up and see what happens. But I'm wondering if Ed was using the hose that's on the motor itself. So let me shut it off. We'll switch to the flush hose and see if it goes through that way. Hooked up the flush. As soon as I turn it on, now I still have the ears on. Maybe that's blocking a little flow. Let me pop those ears off. Maybe it's not getting up into the engine when he was running it. Kind of hard to tell right now, but let's pull those ears off. Still seems to be flowing through okay. Hmm, wonder what happened. Wonder if something got in there, maybe built a nest. It kind of built up and got wet and maybe he did force it out but didn't run it enough times. I'm gonna fire it up one more time just to be sure. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'll have to give Ed a call and tell him we ran it through its paces and it looks to be okay. You know, it is possible that there was some kind of nest in there and it worked itself out. Maybe on the trip here, something broke loose. Maybe it got wet and was caked in there. And then as it dried out, since it sat here, I don't know when it was, maybe it was Saturday that he was texting me. Maybe by then it, it kind of worked its way out. It's kind of hard to tell, but she's pumping now, Ed. Not much to find here, but you have to do your diligence. You have to take your time and go through these things. And Ed is also going to check to see how old his water pump and thermostat is. So he may want me to change that too, but we'll check it out. I gave Ed a call, talked to him about what he was had going on, what was happening, was he using the muffs? He said, yeah, I ran it on the muffs, it was fine. And then when I put it in the tub, so he had it in a bucket, running it in a bucket, and it just wouldn't pump water. He got nervous, he shut it off. Not really sure how long. 
I've done this myself over the years, even more recently. I had twins on my last boat. I would switch the hose from one to the other to flush it after coming back in, forget to turn that valve on and start it up and look back and it's not peeing and go, wait a minute, how long was it running for? I, I don't know. You gonna take a chance of that? So one of the things you have to be careful of, if you're running it in a tub, you must get the water up above the water pump. Remember, the water pump is right here. Ed said, well, I had it at the cavitation plate. Okay, so here is not gonna get you a submerged water pump. The water pump needs to be completely submerged in order to pull enough water up. If it's not submerged, it won't suck the water up through these holes. So as a precautionary, I said, Ed, it's up to you. If you wanna run it, 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 I mean, it pumped right away. It seems to be a good stream, but you don't know until you get in there, did it get burned up? So I said, how old is it? He said, I'm assuming two years. I said, is it possible it's older than that? You know, it doesn't hurt to do it anyway. He said, yeah, let's not take a chance. Even if I pull it apart and inspect it and it's fine, you wouldn't leave it. You're just going to put a new, maybe it just needs an impeller. So we're going to open this up in our next episode and we're going to see what it needs. So please like, subscribe, send any comments that you have. And I look forward to seeing you out on the water. Have a great day.